So we have our function is going to be x plus 2. So I have my f of x, and here's my x-axis. x plus 2 has a y-intercept at 2, right? Yes. And you could say that the slope would be 1 over 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And let's see, I'm going between 0 and 3, right? So 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3. So I really need to go up 1 over 1 one more time. So I know my, my function looks something like this. But I want to make sure I have my endpoints correct, though. This endpoint is 0, 2. And this one is going to be 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, comma 5. So the endpoints are at 0 and at 3. Would everybody agree with me? Right? But remember, what, remember when we talked about the um, area of a trapezoid, which you guys can see this is a trapezoid. So the area formula, area equals 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height. Right? And every, uh, one of the most common things that gets confused with is people see this as the base, and they say, oh, that has to be your base. No, that's not our base, because remember, the base was your two parallel sides. These are our base 1 and our base 2. It doesn't matter which one is which, but we just need to remember those are going to be our bases. Okay, So we'd have to rotate the figure actually the other way. So we'd actually want to make sure we wrote it so it looks something like this. So therefore, we could say that this one is 2. Over here is going to be 5. And our height is going to be 3. So does everybody see how I took the orientation of the graph and I rotate it back around like that? Does everybody see that? Yes? Thank you. So now I can go ahead and plug it in. So area equals 1 half base 1, which is going to be 5 plus 2, times our height, which is going to be 3. 5 plus 2 is 7 times 3 is 21. So area equals 21 halves. So just be careful with that one. 